Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rosa. If you are not new here, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a tutorial. I did a three strand twist tutorial way, 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 way back when. So I wanted to give you guys a newer, fresher tutorial. And this is my first time doing this style since big chopping my hair. So I was like, you know what? I think my hair is long enough for a three strand twist. So that is what today's video is. I hope you stick around to see how I got these results. So I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna get right into the video. Okay, so I am sick at the moment, but I wanted to get this video out to you guys. So I apologize for um, any annoyingness of my voice currently because I am congested. Um, I did start off on dry hair. I would say my hair was about 90% dry. I used two products for this style. I used the Ease Leave-In and the Curl Mousse by Baskin Bloom. You know we love Baskin Bloom over here. Definitely check them out um, if you want quality products. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, my hair is about 90% dry. Um, and so I'm kind of re-wetting it with the products. Um, and I, I think I'm gonna start doing my hair this way because it just dries so much quicker and I, I feel like it elongates my curls um, when I start from, you know, a little bit stretched, mostly dry hair. So yeah, now that the products are in there, I'm going to detangle my hair and prepare for this three strand twist. Okay, so what I want you to picture in your mind is, we'll put it on the screen. Three kids wrapping three strings of ribbon around a pole. That's basically what a three strand twist is, but you're not three children and you only have two hands. And there's no pole. The pole is invisible. Um, so what I'm doing is basically wrapping each section around each other, but I'm keeping them in a specific order. And I'm, you'll see that I'm using my hand on the right side of the screen to kind of hold the section while I wrap it over with my hand that's on the left side of the screen. Um, and then once both pieces are over, I'm kind of readjusting so that I can now move those next pieces or twist those next pieces over into the right hand. And that's basically how you three strand twist. Um, I am going to give you another view so that, you know, it can, you can make sense of it. Cause I feel like I was talking a lot, but yeah, I'm gonna slow down the next clip. Okay, so here I have slowed it down so you can really see how I am just wrapping each strand um, over and kind of just wrapping it around each other. And that's what's forming the three strand twist. And it's really important that you keep the strands in order because, um, you know, mixing them up and alternating might give you a braid. You know, it's important that strand number one goes behind strand number two which goes behind strand number three which goes back behind strand number one um so that you get the perfect little coily curl once you unravel them so that's what i'm going to show you how to do next but first let me show you how juicy how my twists look once they're all done Woo! look at them just glistening <laughs> This is why I love Bath & Boo products. I mean, it just moisturizes my hair and it's they're just great. I can't talk about them enough. But this is my hair once it has dried. I would say this was the next evening. So it was 100% dry and now I'm gonna unravel um, by you know twisting the twist in the opposite direction and seeing how perfect the curls came out. Um, so I am going to separate these, probably try to do like three to four sections per um, strand. Um, and as I, you know, 
separate them, I smooth my hand or smooth my two fingers along the curl to, you know, fix um, and try to prevent as much frizz as possible. I do need a trim, so yeah. Um, I feel like my curls would have looked perfect if it wasn't for my ends, but um, I still think my hair came out pretty good. Um, so yeah, just showing you another angle of me unraveling because I know this can be um, hard for some people, especially if you are new to doing your hair. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like when you don't smooth it as you separate. It creates more frizz and, you know, takes away from the definition of the curl. See how I'm not smoothing it all the way to the end at this section? You can really see the frizz on those, on those um, parts. But yeah, I'm gonna keep unraveling and then show you guys the final look. All right, so this is the final look. So that was the final look on this three strand twist out using Baskin Bloom. There's just something about those three strand curls that don't hit the same as those two strand curls. They're just more, I don't know, curly and lively. I don't know how to describe it, but I've always preferred three strand twist curls over two strand. And I think they tend to last longer to be honest too. But um, make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it and you want more content like it. Check and make sure you're subscribed as well. Um, I think I, I think we hit the 800 mark that I was trying to hit in the last video. So I appreciate you guys for subscribing and sticking around. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.